let's have a very easy trick to remember some of the major mountain ranges in Asia. So what we do is we draw two X as you can see in the diagram here and then we have the center of the two X. Now the first center is what is known as the Pamir knot and the second center is what is known as the Armenian knot. So we have the two knots. Now knots are the points where you have the various mountain ranges that originate and since we have drawn the shape of X as you can see you would have four mountain ranges on either side that would be seen. Okay. So let's begin understanding these one by one. Now let's start with the Pamir knot. So in the Pamir knot towards the south we have the Himalayan mountain range. In the north we have the Kunlun mountain range. And between the Himalayan and the Kunlun, there is important mountain range which is the Karakoram mountain range. Now, north of Kunlun, there are other two further important mountain ranges that you must know. So, those are the Tenshan and the Altai mountain range. So, you have Tenshan and Altai mountain range on the north of the Kunlun, the X that we have drawn. Okay. To the north of that, we have the Tenshan and the uh, Altai range. Now, two important uh, plateaus that are there. So, uh, let's understand the plateaus lying here between the Himalayan and the Karakoram region. You have the Ladakh plateau. That is the Ladakh, the region of Ladakh in India, the present region of Ladakh. Not to the Karakoram, between the Karakoram and the Tun, uh, Kunlung is the uh, autonomous region of Tibet and you have the Tibetan plateau that is seen. So you have Tibetan plateau here. Between the Kunlung and the Tenshan region, you have the Taklamakan desert area. So you have Taklamakan desert area here and north of Tenshan, between the Tenshan and the Altai ranges, you have the Zungarang the Zungarian plateau that is there. So three important plateaus, the Ladakh plateau and Tibet plateau, which is part of this region. And then north of it, you have the Taklamakan desert in China and then the Zungarian plateau that is there. This was towards the east of Pamir Nord. Coming on to the west of Pamir Nord. West of Pamir Nord, in the north, you have the Hindu Kush mountain range. And in the south, this mountain range can be further subdivided into two regions. The one which is close to the Pamir Nord is known as the Suleiman mountain range. So this is the Suleiman mountain range. And next to the Suleiman mountain range, you have the Kirthar mountain range. So you have the Kirthar range. So again, to the west of Pamir Nord, you have two important mountain ranges, Hindu Kush in the north, Suleiman and Kirthar range in the south. Now, from this Hindu Kush, we have another mountain range that continues and joins with the Armenian Nord and that is Elbrus. So you have Elbrus mountain here and next to Kirthar, again, this lower region would be divided into two sections again. So you have the Markan and the Zagros. So this one is the Makran mountain range and this region is the Zagros mountain range. Okay, so you have Suleiman, Kirthar, Makran and Zargos as you can see the order and then you have the Armenian knot. Beyond the Armenian knot is another bifurcation that is seen west of the Armenian north and that is the Pontic mountain ranges in the north and Taurus mountain range in the south. Between the Pontic and the Taurus you have an important plateau and that is the Anatolian plateau and that is the region of Italy. So you have Anatolian, uh, Anatolian plateau region. Anatolian plateau region okay so you have this plateau that's there so these are the major mountain ranges north of india in a continuation you have two major knots as we said the Pamir knot and the armenian knot and the mountains coming in uh, from these regions are explained so this is very very important a quick way to understand the major himalayan mountain ranges and the continuation of the mountain ranges towards the west so we would be continuing many such interesting lectures in in our upcoming classes stay tuned have a wonderful day ahead